pretty though. Aggressive, big piece of muscle. You know, of all the things to come down the pike in ice fishing, all the remarkable changes that we have gone through in the last 25 years, certainly the most remarkable thing, the most helpful thing that has ever come along is the application of electronics, of sonar, of one type or another, to the process of ice fishing. And in Fisherman was there at the beginning, certainly a, a great fisherman by the name of Dave Gens uh, had a large part to do with this, but I'm going to go through some of the fundamentals, then we're going to get a little bit specific and, and teach you just a few things that you may not know. And we're after whitefish today, one of the most aggressive fish swimming in fresh water. Now, electronics, in its fundamental sense, sends out a signal through a transducer. The signal bounces back off of the bottom or some other object, and it shows you what that object is or gives you some indication of what it is. So with, this, with these sonar units, you can see where the bottom is. Uh, you can see weeds most of the time. Uh, the most important thing then after that is that you can see fish coming through, and you can also see your lure. And then it's a matter of you seeing your lure in relation to the fish, and then the game becomes one of you having to try trigger these fish with the lure that you've chosen. And an important part of that process is doing something, manipulating the lure, and watching then on the sonar what the fish does in response to how you're manipulating the lure. All right, there's still fish right down below them. But that's the way it's done. That's the way the game is played. And of course, with white fish, it's all the more visual because they can be very, very aggressive. Oh no, I broke my rod. There we go. Well, ah, beautiful fish, huh? Is that fun? All right, well that is the essence of using your electronics to not only see the bottom, but to see fish and to see your lure in relation to fish and then to work your lure in a way that finally turns the fish on. Got him. That a boy, Gord. <laughs> Douglas, they are high. Yeah, you'd never see them without sonar. No, you never. That's 15 feet over 55. Look at that, there's my leader. Oh, oh, oh wow. Douglas, that's a trophy, a trophy whitefish. Anytime they, you see that hump on their head, that hump back, that little head and that giant body. Isn't that an amazing animal? Now the first thing you want to do when you're working with your unit is work with the sensitivity. You want to have that sensitivity set just high enough that you can see your lure. And then just above it, that line right there is actually the swivel that I have tied into my line about a foot above the lure to reduce line twist. The next thing you can do to fine tune is you can use your zoom. So I zoom in. Now we've got a picture of 18 feet down to 33 feet, and this is actually my lure. There's the swivel, and if you look, when I do this, you can actually even see the hook hanging down right here. Most of the time when you zoom in, you have to work with the sensitivity and maybe just put it down just a little bit more. But when you're working with whitefish, most of the time you want to watch that entire part or the entire water column because whitefish can be so mobile that they can come in just about any place. Here he comes, here he comes, got him. You know, the electronics is absolutely, in this case today especially, we would never normally be fishing just 15 foot down. Usually it's 30 to 40 foot down for these fish. And you get that all the time. We've learned so much over the years. I mean, we were fishing blind before. Now we know walleyes will Kind of a small one, but you hit it good. There we go. Put it back quick. As I said, we've been, we were fishing blind before. I remember when I started fishing, you know, it was just typical for walleye fishermen to fish six inches to a foot off the bottom. And when we started using electronics, we quickly learned that it should be a foot to two feet, to sometimes three or four feet off the bottom. We learned how to manipulate the lure to get fish to react. There we go. Boy, that's fun when the, you can see them come like that and they chase and they chase and you drop it and you chase. Looks like a good one. Oh, pretty good. Yeah, 
Wow. <laughs> is that fun or what? Seeing those fish chase. I tell you, electronics has absolutely revolutionized the way we fish on ice. It makes it all the more fun, it intensifies the experience, and it opens up a whole new world on ice.